all-day plan. First, we see the primates, then the butterfly house, then a bathroom break, then oh, we'll... Oh, come on, Lois. Can't we all just run around in a disorganized fashion? Yeah! Let it go, Liz. Monkeys throw their poo! No, if we don't adhere to a strict schedule, we won't see everything. Kids, gas masks. <laughs> run! <laughs> There you are. Oh, don't be such a pig, Mr. Pig. Oh, now, where's Mr. Sheep? Is he being bashful? <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. You're all ripe for parody. Can we go now? Shut up! I'm having fun! Uh -oh. Oh, my, someone's awfully rude. Oh, my fanny is not on the menu. What? What the? Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Ah! I am going to kick your ass. How's it going? Great. Beautiful day. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> you know, we, we sit here and force small talk while they have the time of their lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, girl. <sighs> Sorry, uh, I, I thought I smelled cookies. Wow, does it really smell like cook? Oh, God, she fought it and it went down my throat. Yeah, little fella, come get the food. I have always wanted to do this. Look at me, Lois, I'm Rue. <laughs> come on, Ma, let's go watch Pooh trick the bees out of their honey by pretending he's a rain cloud. <laughs> Full house. Dag nab, that's some poker face you've got, Peter. Years of practice, boys. Peter, you're on a roll. We ought to get you down to Atlantic City this weekend. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Lois is making me visit the in-laws this weekend. I don't know why she even bothers. Me and Lois's old man have never gotten along. Hey, I got an email from Mr. Pewterschmidt. You should find some common ground with your father-in-law, Peter. Figure out what he likes and study up on him. Hey, that's a great idea. I'll learn how to act like a rich guy. In fact, I'm gonna start right now. Cratchit, you're working through Christmas! But, sir, what of Tiny Tim? Bah! He and his ukulele shall go wanting. Oh, it's a person. In French, when you want to say yes, you say oui, oui. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, my God! That is hysterical! <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, what do you say for no, doo-doo? <laughs> hey, I'll be right back. I gotta go take a wicked yes. I bet Lois's dad reads this. I'd be more apathetic if I weren't so lethargic. Oh, I get it. That's kind of funny. Yeah, can I have a copy of Jugs? Yeah, would you please fix the bathroom faucet? I fixed it already. No, you didn't. It's still dripping. No way. I will give you all my Star Wars guys if it is. Wait, wait, wait. Except Boba Fett. No matter how sure I am, I never risk the Fett man. Oh, <gasps> my God! <gasps> was... was he just master? Yes. Oh, my. Do we... do we rub his nose in it? Oh, uh, hi, Brian. Uh, listen, Lois, uh, about yesterday... Oh, Brian, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's perfectly normal. No, I, I know. It's it's just, you know, I, I should be able to control my baser instincts, but I, lately I've just been having these urges. Brian, why don't you come up to my parents' house with us? The fresh air will help you relax. Mm, I know where I go when I want to relax. Hi, Mom. Oh, look at you all. I know someone who's getting a gift certificate for liposuction in her stocking. Thank you, Nana. Hello, everyone. Hi, Daddy. Ahoy, Mr. Pewter Schmidt. <laughs> uh, permission to come aboard? No. Thanks. Hey, quite a schooner you got here. Uh, what is she, like a 45-footer? Well, Peter, I didn't know you were a sailor. I didn't know you looked so good in shorts. Ow. What? Oh, you don't have an eye spliced in this mooring line. Here, I'll just tie a bowling in there and make one for you. That's it, Holder. Thanks for bringing me here, Lois. This is just what I needed. Oh, I'm glad. It seems like everybody's having a lot of fun. So how long are you and your family in town? Uh, 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 no conversation. You idiot! I'm never taking you to my country club again. Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Pewterschmidt. Your husband is a moron. He walks up to the premier of China and says, Dong, where is my automobile? 
Lois, I tried to fit in with your dad's crowd, but it's worse than before. I'll tell you, this sucks worse than that time I was on Survivor. How dare you wash your clothes in our drinking water, BB? Now how are we gonna survive in this harsh, unforgiving terrain? All right, Donnie, make sure the wheel goes all the way around. Uh, oh, no! Headhunters! Ah, am I fired? Ryan, come over here and meet Seabreeze, my prize-winning dog. Isn't she a perfect specimen? I mean, look at these legs and that beautiful coat. And feel the heat coming off of her genitalia. You could roast a marshmallow. That's how you can tell she's a champion. Go on, put your hand there. Oh, boy, that is that. Is that, that something? That, that, that is something. That is, that, that, that is hot. Isn't she the most beautiful dog you've ever seen? Yes, yes, she, she is a beautiful dog. <sighs> and that's okay. Let him join your poker game tomorrow night? Sorry, honey, I'd rather be stuck in an elevator with Nathan Lane, Gilbert Gottfried, Carrot Top, uh, Sean Hayes. Oh, you get the picture. Please? No. Okay. You know, maybe later I'll take Mom by the shoeshine place and introduce her to that nice mulatto boy who looks an awful lot like... Say, would uh, Peter like to play poker with us? He'd love to, Daddy. That sounds dynamite. Oh, man, there's a toll booth. Man, looking up at the sky just makes you feel so small. Yeah. I mean, if God created all this, who created God? Maybe he created himself. Or herself. Oh. oh. Think about that. Neat. This guy's deep, Carter. Where'd you find him? He's my son-in-law. Okay, honey. I gotta go. You want a ride? Sure. You've got nothing to worry about. Seabreeze is a sure thing. Seabreeze? Mr. Peter Schmidt, again, I just want to tell you how sorry I am about this. I don't know what came over me. You'd better not have ruined my race, dog. How is she, Doctor? She's fine. Seabreeze will be able to race again. But unfortunately, not for another nine weeks. She's pregnant. <clears throat> Look, Mr. Peter Schmidt, I, I just want you to know I am going to do the right thing here. You're not doing anything. In fact, you're never going to see Seabreeze again. All of you, pack your things and get out. See, look, I made a picture of you and me out of glue and macaroni. Wow, Peter, that means a lot to me because you made it. Really? No, get out of here! Mr. Peter Schmidt, Seabreeze is gone. What? I can't find Brian. Were you followed? Don't worry, I've got a decoy. Hey, Lois. Hubba, hubba. Whoa, Lois, you put on a few, huh? Well, I never. Mm, that's all right, honey. I don't think he was the one anyway. Now let's go get Sundays. Mm, well, I should go. Here, take this. It's probably not a good idea for us to meet anymore. Daddy swore he'd track you down any way he could. Bingo! I told you she'd lead us to it. Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Hello, this is Tom Tucker. Evil twin Todd Tucker out to destroy his brother's reputation. Ha ha ha! Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with whom I still have 45 minutes. Now back to this breaking news. Daddy, please stop this. Brian has every right to see his puppies when they're born. Sorry, pumpkin. I had no idea you could be so cruel. I'll never forgive you for this. Oh, you'll be fine. You're just having your period. This court will now come to order. Do you like children? I, I love children. That's why I'm here. I want the opportunity to raise my puppies. Do you remember an incident at a South Attleboro Denny's in December of 1996? Uh, yeah, I guess. Mr. Griffin, which of the following two phrases best describes Brian Griffin? Problem drinker or African-American haberdasher? Um... So I, I guess problem drinker, but that's... Uh... Thank you. Now, sexual deviant or magic picture that if you stare at it long enough, you see something? Well, sexual deviant, but that other one's not even... Uh... Thank you. Now, isn't it true that you told my client, Carter Pewterschmidt, that Brian is a menace to society and should never be allowed to see his children? <gasps> uh... uh... <laughs> Brian should be allowed to see his puppies. Your Honor, Brian will be a great dad. Hell, if, if I was half the parent Brian is, I'd know that Chris's favorite ice cream is... Chocolate chip. And Stewie's favorite bedtime story is... Good night, Moon. And Meg's real father's name is... Stan Thompson. I've heard enough. 
I do believe that Brian would be a successful parent. However, if he was to repeat his actions at the dog track, he would be setting a bad example for his puppies. Therefore, I grant Brian custody with the condition that he be neutered first. Yeah, you did it, buddy. Oh, congratulations. Oh, man. What does neutered mean? Are you sure you want to go through with this, Brian? Because, you know, you could have puppies with another dog. Oh, or maybe with a condor. Yeah, they need to have flying puppies. Do you like that, Brian? Yeah? Flying puppies? No, Peter. Those puppies in there are mine, and I'll give anything to be with them. Anything. Stop! Brian, come quick! Oh, my God! Those aren't my puppies. Well, then, who's that, eh? You... you're a whore! A filthy, filthy whore! Oh, well, don't worry. There'll be other chances. Now, you know what's funny? I always thought that dogs, um, laid eggs. And I learned something today. <laughs>